Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports are reaching new levels of crazy with the swap token packs that they dropped in the store yesterday. I want to talk about that and, of course, the market and what to expect today on Sunday in FIFA 23 because we're expecting more World Cup phenoms to be dropped in packs today. Could we have another player SBC after we had multiple SBCs yesterday with an Icon World Cup, Stoichkov, and the phenoms Gonzalo Ramos? So I want to take a look at that and, of course, all of the crazy market movements with more Path to Glory cards moving every which way on the market. Some crashing down like crazy, of course. Others going up like crazy because of the results of the games yesterday. And I want to take a look at some of those cards and how there was a really interesting trend these past two days. After the World Cup games ended, the market only went one way. I want to talk about that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about these store packs because yesterday EA dropped not one but two. And we were hoping that they were going to do this and they ended up doing it. They dropped two store packs here in the game now the first one that they dropped was ad content it was 25,000 coins for a swap token five rare players 83 plus one of them guaranteed that's not bad i think ggs to ea sports that might be one of the cheapest swap tokens that we have ever had in a pack a cheap cheapest swaps pack or swap token pack if you will I think that I remember in the game because we've had 50k, we've had 75k, 100,000 coins for one of these swap token packs from last year, earlier this year. 25k, that's really doable for a lot of people. GG's. Then a couple hours later, they said, hey, we just released one of the cheapest packs we've ever released. Let's make the most expensive swap token pack ever. 200,000 coins for 20 rare gold players, 285 plus and a swap token, and then all other loans that are in there as well, and the World Cup player picks, little irrelevant. But 200k, that's a crazy, crazy price tag. But let me tell you something. If EA is releasing this pack in the store, they know that people are going to buy it, and that's the crazy thing. The fact that EA can release a pack like this in the store means that they know people are going to end up buying it, although it seems crazy expensive. If you can get your swaps journey done, whatever you're trying to choose, whatever you're waiting to go for in here, or whatever tokens you still have left that you're scrambling to figure out you know, what choices you're going to end up taking um, inside of World Cup swaps, if you can get it done without doing that pack, uh, unless you're a FIFA point spender, then that's probably the best way to do it because 200,000 coins for a swaps pack like that, that is, that's pretty crazy in my opinion. But again, like I said, this pack is definitely a bit more for the FIFA point friendly uh, spenders out there, but it's still just crazy to think that EA dropped a 200,000 coin pack in the store now it does supply you with a lot of fodder but 285s plus you get 20 rare golds that's definitely not worth it i mean think about this for a second the black friday 100 pack which had 100 rare gold players in it was a 250,000 coin pack i believe a 250k and this only has 20 rare golds in it and you get a swap token a couple of loans and 285 pluses for those golds so value wise that's in a very 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 expensive swap token that's the way that i see it so Thought that was pretty crazy yesterday. Just kind of shows you on this game <laughs> how things are going, right? That's where EA has put the most emphasis this year is on the store pack token. So many different store packs this year. That's been one of their points of emphasis for sure. And it's impacted the market a lot. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Now, just to quickly go over yesterday's content as well. Gonzalo Ramos, four-star, four-star, high, medium. Not terrible, right? GG is to EA for releasing a cool card for a player that had a spectacular performance in the World Cup. Big fan of that, Gonzalo Ramos. It's cheap, right? You can't complain too much about that one um, just because it's cheap. Now, we also had Stoichkov, which his card is only going to be available via SBC. And this technically isn't that terrible of value, but I want to give you a word of warning with this Deutschkov SBC, 650k. I believe his mid card is around 400,000 coins, and it's a slight upgrade on the mid, right? 650k with some packs back, and yes, you'd be able to craft it for a little bit less than this. These types of SBCs, though, unless you have a ton of coins, like these are the type of SBCs that will drain your club even more than like an icon upgrade or a hero upgrade pack, right? We expect one of those in the coming days. You just have to be careful, right? This is another one of those SBCs where you just have to be 
careful. And I think a lot of people are, are a fan of the Stoichkov because you see the upvote, downvote. It is a nice card. It's not the biggest upgrade over his mid by any uh, stretch of the imagination. Two shooting, one pace, one dribble, one defense and physical. He did get the four star. Uh, is it weak foot? I think he got a weak foot upgrade, right? Yeah, he usually is lacking weak foot. So he did get a four star weak foot upgrade. So it's not terrible value, but again, this would be like if you're a big Stoichkov fan or if you just really, really wouldn't want to get this guy or craft him, I wouldn't go to great lengths uh, if it's not necessary for you to get this card. That's my opinion for that one. We had a couple other pack supply species yesterday, and that was the content on our Saturday. Now, also, let's, uh, let's actually look forward to today into Sunday, right? Let's scratch that. Let's look forward to today into Sunday because I think there's more cards dropping in the game today. Well, I mean, most of us expect to have these guys in the game. The mini release, the mini release, three cards that were leaked in the promo team earlier this past week. They did not drop into packs yet. First one here is Lissandro Martinez, another Prem center back, like we need another one of those. But I'm halfway excited for this card because if these are anywhere near the stats that are going to be on the card in the game, that is going to be a Cordoba-esque center back. We've seen him perform in the World Cup, right? Argentina is still alive. These aren't live items, but there's extra hype for cards that are their nations are still in the World Cup. We've seen that on the market. So, you know, this card I think would be pretty cool to have in game just because it's a different type of center back. I think people would be very interested to try that one out. Uh, so look out for that card, hopefully dropping in the game today. And then, of course, Rodrigo, another right wing, Real Madrid, Brazil links. Hopefully the stats are maybe a bit juiced up from this. And like we've seen with the skill move weak foot upgrades, maybe the return of a five-star skill Rodrigo. Remember last year's showdown card? Imagine that drops today. That could be some pretty hype action on the right wing, especially with the links that this card has. So keep a close eye out for this Rodrigo today. And last but not least, another Prem center mid, Tielemans. Um, not an insane looking card, but a nice card that maybe you want to use as a box to box and uh, probably should be pretty cheap. So these are the three cards that I would expect to see in packs today with a mini release, right? Mini releases on Sundays, they go hand in hand. So that's what I'm expecting for part of Sunday content today. Also today, we did not have the Juan He Chan. I talked about it in last night's videos, like maybe this guy's coming today. He was not yesterday. We had the Ramos and the Stoichkov instead. Maybe he's coming today. It's obviously up in the air, not 100% known, but player SBCs on the weekends are pretty consistent. So I think there's a high probability that this card does drop today on this game. Other than that, I'm not really expecting a whole lot. Maybe a couple more lightning rounds, maybe a little bit more, uh, maybe another pack SBC. We do have a couple other um, leaked um, dynamic duos. Let me just show you these guys, these guys really quick. Morocco and Japan. Uh, kind of fitting, like I'm, I'm pretty sure the Morocco dynamic duo actually dropped yesterday after uh, Morocco won like this leak. El Yamik and Harit are leaked uh, as a dynamic duo. I think these can come via SBC or objective. I think the recent ones have been coming via SBCs and then Kamada and Tanaka uh, also as dynamic duos. So keep a close eye out for these. Those could be a part of content today or in the next coming days as well. Uh, I believe those are all of the leaks that we have for right now in this game and for content as well. By the way, the 87 plus mid or base is going away today. So I guess you could say, Nate, is there like this much of a chance that like the World Cup Hero SBC could actually be today instead of Monday? Technically, maybe um, because this is going away and EA maybe want to just replace it with something right away. This much of a chance, I would say. I really think that that hero upgrade would probably be on Monday. And we'll talk about fodder related to that in a second because I think it's almost club stock time. But let's talk market because I was able to make a decent amount of coins yesterday because of the trend that I saw, not yesterday, but two days ago after the Argentina Netherlands game got over, I saw the market explode a couple days ago. And I figured that the same thing was going to happen yesterday. So what I did was I went out and I bought some promo cards. Um, I bought two Kamavingas. I actually sold them a little bit too early, but I bought two Kamavingas right around the content drop yesterday at 470. Sold one for just like, it's like 15, 17K profit or whatever. And then this one, actually it's about 20K, never mind. And then this one was about, um, of course, 40K profit because I sold it for 20,000 coins more. So rough estimates there. But, you know, that was the movement on the market. Yesterday at content, stuff was pretty low. And then a lot of the in cards, in packs cards specifically, really, really exploded as people got off from watching the World Cup game, got onto FIFA, and went out to play with these cards. So the lowest point for a lot of these was at the content shop, but you can see price stayed pretty low. And then once the World Cup games got over, boom, 
these guys just kind of exploded. Kamavinga was 550 for like a 10, 20 minute period, I do believe. And if you take a look at a lot of cards um, on this game, like Jude Bellingham right now is what? 652. He's pretty low once again, right? Jude was 699, stayed around 700K, and then boom, popped up to like 740. I, I even believe he was like 770 for a quick second there. And that happened like everywhere on the market. Even some of these cards, right? Like I bought some Danny Alves at uh, 140, 147, because he just kept dropping, dropping, dropping during the World Cup games. Boom, World Cup ended. He had a low point, and now he's kind of rising back. We've got Rodrigo coming out today, so I've got a couple of those. Might as well just hold. Uh, I know that right backs are still in the mud because of um, Frimpong, but that was kind of the, I guess, the market movements that you saw yesterday. I also ended up, after Giroud scored uh, his goal in the France-England game yesterday, what a crazy game, by the way, that was. I went out and quickly to the market, and I bought, I think it was like five Giroud's at like 54, 55K, uh, and he went up to like 62, which is where I sold him. So that was kind of a fun flip. Even though these cards are not live, people just got off, uh, the, got back onto FIFA after the World Cup games were over and wanted to go try those cards, especially the players that performed crazy in real life and scored goals. So that's just one thing to keep in mind as we head into the semifinal and the final games of the World Cup. Keep a close, close eye on not even just cards that are representative of nations that are in the World Cup, like, uh, you know, France still in, not even just cards like Kamavinga and Giroud, but like literally everything, like even gold cards. I bought some gold Vinnies. I think they're on my transfer list at like 32K around content time yesterday. And Vinny Jr., um, after the game, went up to like 36K. And I think right now he's even like 35,000 coins or something like that. So he is back up in price a little bit. There was just a lot of sell-off on the market yesterday, like we predicted, but a nice bounce after those World Cup games. So that's something to keep in mind as we head into like Tuesday and Wednesday of this week with games on again. Keep a close eye on that. Now, also with the games going on, we got to look at the path to glories, guys. You know, we were going to be taking a look at this on the video today. And the big losers, of, of course, unfortunately, the English lads, Jack Grealish and Kyle Walker, and then the Portuguese guys, uh, the SBC Paulinha, which of course is not on the market, but the Bernardo Silva. So Grealish was like 190K or right around 200,000 coins at his peak yesterday. And of course, just like Bruno Guimaraes, he is now in the mud, dropping off like crazy. Kyle Walker, I believe was, Kyle Walker's price peaked early because uh, of the right back SBC that we had. He's now back up a little bit. He's closing in on 600K. I would not be surprised. I still think this card to me is a little bit too expensive. I would not be surprised if this card drops off again, just like we saw with Bruno Guimaraes yesterday. Like we talked about in the video last night, he was up at like 215. He went back down to like 190 and then is now back up to about 215 again. I think that Kyle Walker is going to have another round of sell off this morning on Sunday. And I think you'll see his card get back to like 550, maybe even a little bit lower. Personally, I think with the other right backs that we have in this game right now, I just feel like this card's a little bit expensive. I know he's really cracked and I know pros probably like to use him and stuff, but that to me is just a little bit expensive. Now, also the flip side of the coin is um, you've got Buffal, you've got Griezmann, you've got Nkunku that are absolutely flying. Now, Buffal was a very interesting scenario here because he was extinct at 100,000 coins and I think after France won, people were like, oh crap, Morocco played France in the semifinal. So people started selling off Buffal. He went all the way down to about 75, 73K, and he's now back up to 87. Um, that's a good trade. If you're fluctuation trading with this guy, you're making a lot of coins because he's moving around a lot. But be a little careful with that one. That one is going to get the next upgrade is the weak foot upgrade, right? And that's not coming today, but I believe it's coming tomorrow at midnight. So the 12th is the upgrade uh, for these cards that are getting the next upgrade. So keep an eye out for that. Griezmann is a card that's been moving like crazy. 1.4 million coins for this Griezmann. It's about to get a weak foot upgrade as well, which we all know is very, very crucial for Griezmann. Uh, post game, he even went down to like the low one twos and look at where he's going now. 1.4 million coins. So absolutely crazy. And Cuckoo's three and a half mil. It's crazy to see that the winners continue to go up and up and up in price. But of course, oh, Bruno Guimaraes is back down, huh? 197. So um, these guys continue to fluctuate since there's so many people that have invested. Oh, wow. He was 185. So there you go, man. Everything was low during the World Cup. And then afterwards, boom, it just kind of shot up. So since we don't have games today, uh, you probably won't see that fluctuation. But 
I still, I still think there will be a couple opportunities to trade uh, with cards on the game today. Like we normally see on Sunday mornings, we have squad battle rewards, which makes me look at the cheaper end of the market, whether it's impacts cards that are cheap that people might want to try, or if it's just your good old gold cards. Van Dyke right now to me, 88,000 coins. That's a bit interesting. I know we're getting more and more prime center backs, but this is a card that usually goes up when we have a nice gold market rise. The Vinny card, that's one reason that I picked him up yesterday at a really cheap price. If I can get him again at like 32K, which it looks like I might be able to on a sniper a bid, boom, 32. I'd like to get him with chem styles, but that one unfortunately didn't have one, even though I didn't get it. Um, you know, that's sort of the market I would expect to go up a little bit more today than others, just because I think that when people get their squad battle rewards, they get at they, some coins, they get some rewards, some packs they open, they go out and they buy some cards. That's something that you most commonly see. So cards that are like 100K or less usually move more on um, Sunday mornings than cards that are more expensive. But some of these really expensive Phenom cards, like I just looked at, Jude Bellingham is 650K right now. That is the lowest that he has been by a long shot. And you, we mentioned it on last night's video. Some of these cards had some good rises from Friday night into saturday could that happen again jude bellingham was down at 7 30 he bounced up to like 8 16 it was a short hour two hour window where he was above 800k went crashing back down again to 700 then of course went back up into the 700 mids and is now back down into the low to mid 600s which is very interesting to me but as i look through the rest of this team rafael leao if you're on a big budget he had a really really big fluctuation yesterday that was a good card to trade with but guys like pedri lautaro saka and even this Dan James card, I think this Dan James is one that maybe moves today again on the low tier because he has 98 pace. Yesterday, he went from 65 to 75K in the early morning hours. Again, this, this graph, I believe, is on UK time. So um, if you're looking at this graph, it's like 4 a.m. UK, he hit his lowest, and then he goes up and reaches his peak at like middle of the afternoon UK time. Uh, the rise may not be just like this because with supply hitting the game with squad battle rewards, you know, you may have a low point be during the rewards time period or something like that. But then I still think on the low tier, that's the point of all this, uh, me saying this, I think the low tier market, less than 100K, will do okay today. I think you'll see some price movements that can be profitable if you pick the right cards and if you time it right. Maybe getting on bids during squad battle rewards. You're like, Nate, do squad battle rewards actually matter? They do, and they have since we've had all these World Cup swaps objectives. People have been getting rewards every single week uh, because for the past like four weeks, EA has been putting out new swaps objectives, of course, to get the swap tokens. So it's all about the swap tokens, right? It's all about the grindable rewards and content. And I think that's content that people have grinded in the past week. So you're going to see a little bit of market movement because of that today. Now, let's talk SBC fodder because we mentioned the SBCs upcoming and we also mentioned that World Cup Hero Pack, which we're going we're gonna to talk more about that tomorrow. But I think we're going to have to be earlier rather than later on our fodder investment. I like 85s below 7.5K. I like 84s at 2.5K and below. I like 86s at 13K. The rest of the fodder market is up a little bit. Like 91s are 57K a piece. Now, the only thing that could change this for the high tier market and even some of the low tier market is, like I said, the 87 plus base or mid icon is going away. It's going away today and it should not be repeatable any more times. It's got like the full SPC timers going away, not just the repeat timer. So fodder could potentially go a little bit lower with people getting their weekend league rewards today on Sunday, later in the evening. Could fodder drop off a little bit tonight? late night like heading into monday yes it could but that's if this sbc goes away and we don't get any crazy sbc content today on sunday like the world cup hero pack but if you want to keep it safe a club stock at these prices are not bad at all like seven and a half k on those is not bad like 88s would i love to see 88s at 25k absolutely would i love to see 91s at like 52k absolutely but at right now there's still demand for them elsewhere so they're just not getting that low so i would be a little bit hesitant on the top tier of the fodder market because i feel like that is what's been inflated the most um by this sbc the lower tier is still at a decent price to invest in my opinion i still think that if we get a really good hero sbc pack you know 85s could go to like high 9.5k 9.7k maybe 10k like they did last week so that's what i'm thinking for the fodder market so if you want to do a club stock go for it if you want to wait till tomorrow night or tonight 
go for it. But I think you got to get your fodder in the club before we get to Monday because that's when things are going to start to go up in price because people get their rewards on Monday. We saw it last Monday, right? Fodder started to take off because people were investing. Uh, and I think you want to stay a little bit ahead of the curve. So it's kind of a, you're juggling, um, you know, that SBC ending, but also people wanting to start to invest in fodder. I know people that are already starting to invest in the fodder side of the market. So that's kind of what's going on there. Um, the last thing I want to talk about too is I just wanted to look through, like we mentioned in yesterday's video as well. Sorry, I keep fl flipping screens back and forth on you guys, but I mentioned that some of the other promo cards from past, past promo teams, uh, we had seen their prices were dropping off a lot, and, and I expected that to continue yesterday, and it did. Rashford is now below 900,000 coins. Richarlison, who I bought Friday on stream for 510, I, I woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, I woke up right here. Richarlison was like four, 450, and I sold Richarlison right here at basically a tax loss. He ended up going all the way back down to 435. He's now back up to 465, but a lot of these prices have dropped off, which is what was expected with this new promo team being super duper supplied and honestly, really, really solid value. I think this promo team is good value. I think there's a lot of great upgrades in here, a lot of big names and a decent price. I think that's why you're seeing a lot of these out of packs cards continue to slide a bit on the market. Um, not all of them are going down a lot, but you know, Ben White was over 100, now he's 92. Wijnaldum was like 80, now he's 67. Sergio Busquets was 170, and now he's 130. You know, even Mateus Nunez was like 55K, and now he's 45. So you have a lot of that happening on the market right now. And once again, I didn't state it clearly enough in yesterday's video, but the reason why this new promo team is supplied as much as it is, there's one reason I can point a finger to. It's this pack right here. 20 rare gold players. 37,500 coins. One of the top comments on yesterday's YouTube video was like, what? 37K for 20 rare gold players? That's like a 100K pack for 37K. Exactly. And that is why so many people are opening this pack with either FIBA points or coins, and it's supplying the market a lot everywhere. Yeah, fodder a little bit, but mostly you're noticing it on these promo cards and how you look at the market and you constantly see, like if I compare price in this Jude Bellingham, if you go to the 59th minute, if I scroll all the way back there, you constantly see fresh first owner cards hitting the market. Yes, there's always promo packs in the store and stuff like that. But really what I think it boils down to, that was not a fresh one, but you see one here. Here's one that's listed, first owner tradable. It boils down to that tradable pack being in the store that is good value that people want to gamble on. I think that's bringing extra supply to the market. So we will see how the market reacts today with no World Cup games going, but maybe some squad battle rewards. And of course, Sunday night weekend league rewards hitting the market a bit as well, bringing some coins onto it, but also some supply. So it's going to be a very interesting Sunday. Hopefully the mini release is a W. If you saved 8420s, best of luck ripping those today. And if you enjoyed the video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Have a great Sunday. It's been Nate Foot Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.